Granite City school bus with kids on board crashes into several parked cars, sending one vehicle flying. Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman talks with residents about the moment that has now gone viral after it was all caught on a doorbell camera. <laughs> Monday morning, a Granite City school bus was picking up students for class when all of a sudden the bus crashes into four cars. There was, you know, car parts everywhere, glass everywhere, like it was just a nightmare. Alyssa Wells says her boyfriend's truck was hit head on, sent flying over her Mustang onto the sidewalk. The bus only stops after hitting her second car. Walking out to, you know, kids screaming and to see this horrific scene, it was devastating and very scary. The entire front hood of the Mustang is left hanging by a thread. The truck had most of the driver's side ripped off and her second car damaged as well. And we're actually expecting our first child as well. So on top of like medical expenses and things like that, you know, there's just a lot going on and it's stressful. Her next door neighbor, Nick Warden, also has a child on the way. His car heavily damaged the first one to be struck. I was finding pieces of my car all the way down the block. The Granite City School District can't comment on the health of the students on board, but said in a statement, quote, First student is currently investigating the accident. The safety of our students remains our number one priority. It does scare me because that's a lot of money sitting here in front of my house that I can't drive to work. I can't get my kids to the doctors. In the police report, the cause of the crash was listed as a student distracting the driver. First student says they're disturbed by the crash and will be firing the driver. Hopefully, you know, they're a little more wary of who they're putting behind the wheel and, you know, essentially, who's holding these kids' lives in their hands. After this incident, now both car owners say, unfortunately, they're left with all of the damage. Two cars have been towed, as you can see by the space, but the two that remain have all this damage. They fear it. They can't get it towed in time. The city is going to find them, and they're also looking to get in touch with the insurance companies who have not reached out to them so far. Reporting in Granite City, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.